a warm welcome this is control systems course with lecture 1.2 focusing on open and closed loop systems and we'll discuss about the transfer function also open loop control systems it will be utilizing a controller in addition to the process actually the controller it may be a control actuator also and this will be designed the system is designed to obtain the desired response in case of open loop control system the output has no effect on the control action in another words output is neither measured nor fed back up for example may a washing machine toaster electric fan microwave oven or certain example while considering the closed loop systems closed loop system they utilize a feedback to compare the actual output that is the output of the process of and this fed to the desired uh, i mean it's fed to the comparator in order to compare the input or the set value with that of the feedback element this is a block diagram of the open loop system and the closed loop system in case of open loop system we are considering the plant in addition to that we have a controller in action that's all but while considering the closed loop system here we can see the desired value is fed as an input and along with the desired value the measured value that is the output value which is fed back with the help of a sensor is then compared in a summing point that is a comparator and that comparator's output is nothing but the error signal and is then given to the controller where the controller he generates a manipulated variable which is nothing but uh, called control signal and this control signal is nothing but uh, the output uh, which enables the plant or the process uh, to produce the actual or desired response so now depending upon the control signal the plant will be updating and it will be enabling the desired response to get generated so in this case we have both forward path as well as feedback path but in open loop system we have only the forward path so this is the entire feedback control system each processes how they are referred up normally when we are providing the input it can be uh, passed to via a reference transducer that is any signal which can be converted into electrical signal this is what is the transducer will do and that is referred as r of t that input is referred as r of t then while considering the feedback path it is a transducer which converts the output into a electrical signal so in case of comparator two electrical signals are being compared because for comparison purpose the signal should be of a similar type so transducers are used to here a reference transducer as a, at the input side and at a, feed, a feedback transducer in the feedback element this uh, r of t as well as the uh, feedback signal p of t are the compared it may be a summation or a subtraction and this generates an error signal e of t this e of t is fed to the controller which creates the manipulator signal m of t and finally the m of t which when fed to the plant will be creating an a controlled variable which is nothing but c of t while comparing the open loop and closed loop systems it seems that the closed loop system may solve many problems while considering the block diagram but open loop systems in addition they have certain advantages open loop system are simple in construction and ease of maintenance while considering the closed loop system because uh, many components are there and so disturbances and changes in the calibration may cause errors and the output may be different from what is desired uh, while considering the open loop system since the number of components are less uh, they are less expensive when compared to the closed loop systems uh, and also there is no stability problem in the open loop system because it is it's an open loop so whatever input you are providing to the process there will be an output it will not be subjected to any change unless and until the input is getting changed and also next is convenient it is convenient when output is hard to measure or measuring the output precisely is economically not feasible in such a case a open loop system can be preferred while considering the closed loop systems to maintain the required quality in the output recalibration is necessary from time to time 
and also in closed loop system accuracy is less they are less accurate and if the external disturbances are present output may differ significantly from the desired value even though a greater suppression may be uh, provided to the external disturbances the impact will be uh, present in certain cases and also uh, while comparing the closed loop system open loop system are more accurate and the effect of external disturbance signals can be made very smaller and also the variations in the parameters of the system do not affect the output of the system that is the output may be made less sensitive to variations in parameters hence forward path components can be of less precision this reduces the total cost of the system and while considering the closed loop system they are more complex and expensive they require high forward path gains and the systems are prone to instability because oscillations may occur in the output and also the cost of maintenance is high in case of closed Uh, normally, uh, these are some of the practical examples of the open loop system: electric hand dryer, automatic washing machine, bread toaster, automatic tea or coffee maker, time-based clothes dryer, light switch, and volume on steering. Uh, so, so this is pictorially represented uh, while considering the hand dryer. Just you are going to keep the hand under the machine, irrespective of how much your your hand is dried or not. That is not being sensed. so there is no feed and next while considering the automatic uh, washing machine this machine runs according to the preset time irrespective of washing is completed or not similarly bread toaster this machine will be running as per the adjusted time irrespective of toasting is completed uh, similarly the tea coffee and the light switch or the volume on the stereo system it will not be uh, i mean uh, adjusted and while considering this these are some of the advantages of open system and these are the disadvantages of open loop control system we discussed while considering the closed loop control system the examples are automatic electric ion it uh, senses the heat it should not go beyond a particular uh, temperature and while considering the servo voltage stabilizer the voltage stabilizers are mainly used for the purpose of voltage regulation so the voltage should not go beyond a high voltage and it will not be uh, coming under the below i mean lo low level voltage and similarly water level controller if suppose uh, that is a uh, uh, the low level of uh, the water in the reservoir has been reached then automatically a pumping system will be activated and water will be pumped into the reservoir if suppose the reservoir is getting filled and it's a uh, topmost i mean the maximum limit when its maximum limit is reached then automatically the controller will, uh, will stop the pumping system and the water inflow may stop so in this way it acts as a closed loop system the missile launched and auto tracked by radar air conditioner system and the cooling system in the car will represent examples so this is how we have the advantages and disadvantages of the closed loop control system next let us see of the transfer function transfer function it is nothing but the laplace transform of the output to the laplace transform of the input in while calculating transfer function this the initial conditions has to be considered as zero so this is what is a case normally the transfer function will represent the laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input this is the ratio and here the initial conditions are made zero the applicability of the concept of transfer function is limited only to linear time invariant system and to differential equation systems